looking in gallery wall to go out there. And I had everything laid out here. So now what I'm doing is taking some paper and kind of, you see there's lines on the paper. So I'm trying to, I'm gonna trace it and then put the paper on the wall so I know exactly where everything is going. My slippers are here to hold down the paper. And um, I just gotta find a pen. So everything that you see here, let me go back this way, came from Hobby Lobby. This was part of our deployment wall, if you recall. Um, this, 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 and this came from Hobby Lobby. This was also part of our deployment wall, but I can't remember where I got it. I've had it for a long time. This came from Walmart and I painted it black. These two canvases came from Dollar Tree. And then I have two of these. One of them I still have to stick the uh, picture on the canvas so I can show y'all how I did it. Um, that those came from Walmart. So these canvases are a little bit bigger than the picture that I had, but what I did was made the black paint go all like more towards the middle. So it'll look like a frame, you know what I mean? And then you see how the picture is bent right there? <sighs> Freaking Shutterfly sent it like that. I can't even believe they did that. No, it's not a big deal, it's whatever. All right, sorry if I sound stuffy. You know it's cold and flu season. You wanna paint the sides of the canvas the color that you choose and make sure you have the paint go in a little bit on on the surface of the canvas so after that paint dries you're gonna grab some Mod Podge and I usually use a sponge brush or you can use a regular paint brush and brush the top of the entire canvas where you would typically paint on the canvas you want to spread a thin layer of Mod Podge all across the, the surface of the canvas. So here you can see I did over pour some of the Mod Podge. Uh, that's okay because the sponge absorbs a lot of it. So I was able to pick it up using the sponge and put some back into the container. That was my bad. And then once that is spread out evenly, you wanna go ahead and lay your photo on top. Uh, make sure it is positioned how you want it to. And then what I like to do is actually flip my canvas over with the photo face down and I press on the back side to get any air bubbles out to make sure that the picture is lying flat. Once I lay down the photo, what I like to do is use this the Mod Podge and go over the painted areas along the sides of the canvas. And because I use gloss Mod Podge, um, that's gonna just make the canvas kind of pop. Even if I use matte Mod Podge, I still go over it to basically seal that paint. Here I use glossy Mod Podge because the photo that I did have printed out was glossy. Uh, if it were matte, then I probably would have used matte Mod, po Mod Podge, but that is solely up to you. Now I have seen some tutorials that say to go over the picture with the Mod Podge and I have done that in previous projects. It doesn't make or break the project, it's really up to you. I did it this time because the photo was glossy and I liked how it looked as is. So I just went over the edges instead. So now I'm just going to finish putting everything on here, tracing it, and then I'll, um, what do you call it, tape it onto the wall. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna cut out each little 
thing I traced or what? I'm just, I'm just, I'm figuring it out as I go and I'm taking y'all along with me, okay? How about that? All right, bye. So this is what my gallery wall is gonna look like. I'm about to remove everything. I'm gonna cut the little uh, square of paper out right along here and hang it on the wall. Okay, so I have the paper on the wall. The lines are very, very light, but it's centered. I took the leveler and I just put it to one of these lines here to make sure that it was level and yeah so now i just gotta figure out my next step which i think i'm gonna cut them out i don't i don't really know so i'm gonna get back to you <laughs> whenever i figure out what i'm gonna do next but another easy thing about this is when like if you do individually cut the pieces out you can kind of put on each thing where the holes for the nails are supposed to be so you can kind of just drill through the paper, if that makes sense. If not, I'll show you. Okay, once you cut it out, this is how it's gonna look. And then you just kind of line up your pieces. All right, so this is the key, but I wasn't gonna cut all that. Ain't nobody got time for it. Um, this was hard enough. So then you kind of just line up each piece find out where you're gonna um, put the nail hole. So for instance, let's do this one for instance. So you can kind of go like right there. You just line it up, figure out the distance, oops, figure out the distance from the top to the bottom, figure out where you wanna put the hole, the nail, the whatever. And yeah, and then put each piece up one by one. So here we go. I'll show you the finished product in three, two. Here is the finished project. I'm so happy how it turned out. And that is my gallery wall. To hang the photos, you just simply rip the paper off where the nails are. And bam, just like that. 